Elaine Eva May is an American comedian, film director, screenwriter, playwright, and actress. She made her initial impact in the 1950s with her improvisational comedy routines with Mike Nichols, performing as Nichols and May. After studying acting in Los Angeles under Maria Auspenskia, May moved to Chicago in 1955 with $7 to her name and became a founding member of the Compass Players, an improvisational theater group. She began working alongside Nichols, who was also in the group, and together they began writing and performing their own comedy sketches, which were enormously popular. In 1957, they both quit the group to form their own stage act, Nichols and May. In New York, producer Jack Rollins said their act was, so startling, so new, as fresh as could be. I was stunned by how really good they were. Quote, 340 they performed nightly in clubs in Greenwich Village alongside Joan Rivers and Woody Allen too. The mostly sold out shows on the Broadway stage. In addition to making TV appearances and radio broadcasts. In their comedy act, they created satirical cliches and character types which made fun of the new intellectual, cultural, and social order that was just emerging at the time. In doing so, May was instrumental in removing the stereotype of women being unable to succeed at live comedy. Together, Nichols and May became an inspiration to many younger comedians, including Lily Tomlin and Steve Martin. They released multiple comedy albums and received four Grammy Award nominations winning Best Comedy Album for an Evening with Mike Nichols and Elaine May in 1962. After four years, at the height of their fame, May decided to discontinue their act. She wanted to take more risks with improvisation whereas Nichols wanted to perfect the form and also direct. It also took too great an emotional toll on them both. May became a screenwriter and playwright, along with acting and directing. Their relatively brief time together as comedy stars led New York talk show host Dick Cavett to call their act, one of the comic meteors in the sky. Woody Allen declared, the two of them came along and elevated comedy to a brand new level. Journalist Gerald Nachman noted that, Nichols and me are perhaps the most ardently missed of all. The satirical comedians of their era. Quote, 319 together. They were the topic of a PBS documentary Nichols and May. Take 2. May starred in films infrequently throughout her career including Love. It was during this time that she became the first female director with a Hollywood deal since IDA. Lupino when she directed the black screwball comedy, A New Leaf, starring John Cassavetes and Peter Falk. May has received her Fist Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay nomination for Warren Beatty's Comedy Heaven Can Wait and Primary Colors. She received a Writers Guild Award nomination and won a British Academy Film Award. In 2013, May received the National Medal of Arts for her lifetime contributions to American comedy which was presented to her by President Barack Obama. In 2018, May returned to the Broadway stage after a 60-year absence in Leela Nerjibauer's revival of Kenneth. Lonagans play the Waverly Gallery which ran at the John Golden Theatre. The same theatre where Nichols and May starred almost 60 years prior. May received rapturous reviews for her performance and won the 2019 Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play, becoming the second oldest performer to win a Tony Award for acting. In 2021, it was announced by the Academy of Motion Pictures Arts and Sciences that May will be awarded the Honorary Academy Award for her bold, uncompromising approach to filmmaking. As a writer, director, and actress, Elaine Ever Berlin was born on April 21, 1932, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the daughter of Jewish parents, theater director and actor Jack Berlin and actress Ida Berlin. 39 as a child, May performed with her father in his traveling Yiddish theater company, which he took around the country. Her stage debut on the road was at the age of three, and she eventually played the character of a generic little boy named Benny. Because the troupe toured extensively, May had been in over 50 schools by the time she was 10. Having spent as little as a few weeks enrolled at any one time, May said she hated school and would spend her free time at home reading fairy tales and mythology.
331 her father died when she was 11 years old. And then she and her mother moved to Los Angeles, where May later enrolled in Hollywood High School. She dropped out when she was 14 years old. Two years later, at the age of 16, she married Marvin May, an engineer and toy inventor. They had one child, Jeannie Berlin, who became an actress and screenwriter. The couple divorced in 1960, and she married lyricist Sheldon Harnick in 1962. They divorced a year later. In 1964, May married her psychoanalyst, David L. Reuben Fine. They remained married until his death in 1982. 332 May's longtime companion was Director Street.